Hi, I'm Nina Ottesson, and this is the Nina Ottesson Dog Brick by Outdoor Hound. It's a level two puzzle, and today I will show you some tips and tricks how to make dog brick both easier and more advanced. Dog brick is a medium level puzzle, a level two, and it works like you hide treats under the blocks, you hide treats under the sliding bricks and you also hide treats under the lids and close and then you lock so the bricks is locked so the dog has to remove the, the cups with the paw or with the nose to find the treats this block is locking so the dog need to remove the cups before they can slide the bricks to get the treats and also to open the lids to find the treats. But you can also make this puzzle more easy. When you start the first time, the first attempts, it's the best to put treats under the sliding bricks and don't close totally. Let the dog feel and see and smell the treats. So they will start to find out how to find the treats. And then you close totally. So the dog has to push this up to find the treats. And also start to put treats in and treats under. And the next step is also to lock with the box. So the dog has to remove the cups, slide the bricks and also open the lids. And if your dog find it difficult to open the lids, you can tie a string in the lids. It's a small hole inside through there. So you can tie a string or a rope so the dog can pull the rope and open the lids. And the same is for the cups. You can tie a string in the cups, a knot under and a knot over. And then the dog can lift the cups up. Another great tip is also to make a frozen puzzle. You add some natural yogurt or water and then you add your dog's favorite snacks. I have used some blueberry and I also have some cheese and the dog's favorite treats. And then you put the game in the freezer and let it set. This is perfect when it's hot outside. If you have a dog who needs extra exercise because it takes longer time to solve a puzzle or is frozen. And dogs love frozen puzzles. And then you cover and lock it and the dog have to find the frozen tasty treats inside and if you have a rough dog he may be do like this but it's only for safety you can easily put this back again by just push it in and it's ready again another tips if your dog is quite rough with the paw you can put the game on a pallet or a stool or similar, so the dog only can work with his nose. To lift this up and open the bricks, that will give it a little calmer uh, play for the dog. And it's also great if your dog maybe can't move around freely, they maybe is convalescent or something. It's a perfect way to put it on a pallet or a stool. It will be a much calmer play. Another tip is to place the puzzle in your dog's bed. The puzzle will stay more in place. And this is great if you have a quite rough dog who is playing a lot with his paw. This will also give a little more calmer play. And you can also make this a little more difficult. You can put treats in the compartment in the base and then cover 
with a piece of paper, hard paper, and cover the treats. And then you put the cup over that. So the dog has to lift this up and then try to remove the paper and then take the treats. And you can also do that with the lids. Put treats in, cover with a piece of paper. If you want to, you can make a little handle with paper and then cover. So the dog has to lift up the lids, remove the paper and then take the treats. And you can also make it a little more difficult by locking hard paper. I push it in the sides and this is locking. The dog has to remove the paper until they can slide the brick aside. Just a few tips to make the dog brick more easy and more difficult. Another tip also when you want to clean it, you remove these blocks, you can clean it by hand with uh, soap and warm water. And this one, you can take this away by a knife, just remove this. And then when you want to put them back again, you just push it down and it's ready to go again. Take a knife, push in the side and remove it. And this is also easy to take away, to clean, and then push it back again. Easy to clean. And I lift the lids in the stream. Again, no, it takes the paw. Some dogs are paw dogs and some dogs are nose dogs. And all dogs are different. Some are left and right paw. Busu is a poly dog. And he slide the bricks aside to find the treats. Then he will also open the lids. Now we remove the block to unlock the sliding bricks. And there he lift up the lids. And there is the next, there is the frozen puzzle. Some are trees inside and some I have a frozen puzzle. It's easier for him if he removes the box, the cups first, and then he can open more easily open the lids. I hope you and your dog will have a lot of fun with the dog break. Bye bye.